Also making news tonight, a pre-K program in Mecklenburg County that cost taxpayer money is having trouble finding kids. Eyewitness News reporter Elsa Gillis found out there are still over 300 spots open out of 600 spots. School officials say they need help getting the word out. As some of these children start their first day of this program tomorrow, there are still hundreds of openings. But I'm told the people behind this are hard at work on the ground to get them all filled by the end of October. Sounds like you guys had a balanced meal. Did you Karen Smith Jones has been busy preparing for her new class of pre-K students at Nana's place. Oh my goodness, pre-K is so important because they've learned how to self-regulate. They've learned social skills. But before it kicks off, she hopes it fills up. We don't have a full class yet. There you go. Nana's go place still has four open spots, and across all participating child development centers, there are just 288 of 600 spots filled, according to the nonprofit running the program. It's free to low-income families that qualify. It's also costing the county $8.75 million, with a tax hike of $19 a year for a person with a $250,000 home. But the county has a goal to make it available to all within the next several years. It's understandable that the attendance is a little light right now. Uh, it's a new program. Commissioner Matthew uh, Ridenauer so says it's a worthwhile program, but we need to see how it plays out. We just need to make sure that we are not putting a, a lot of money into a program before we have measured um, acceptance of the program by the community. Essentially, we, we Smith Jones we attributes the slow start to awareness and marketing and says they're getting out there to spread the word. We are working hard to take Mecklenburg County out of that bracket of not having not moving students out of poverty. We want to do that but we can't do it if we don't, if we're not able to reach these students. When I asked Smith Jones about the tax dollars being spent, she says the county can pay now or pay more later. She says long-term early childhood education reduces things like incarceration and retention rates. Reporting in East Charlotte, Elsa Gillis, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.